everybody, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create and we are working on page six, page six, and we are gonna start, and it's gonna have a waterfall feature and a belly band, and you're going to need five of these flaps and they are six, six by seven. You're gonna score a half inch on the six inch side and you're gonna need, I said four, you're gonna need five. Five and they're six by seven. And the belly band is seven, by 10, you're gonna score a half inch and nine and a half or a half inch on either side. So I am going to start by installing the waterfall feature on top of the belly band. <clears throat> and then we'll install the belly band on the pocket page. Okay, and it's just gonna go flush with the top. It's actually gonna to go top down, but I've got it turned upside down because I wanna see the edges. Right now it doesn't really matter what the direction is. Okay. And now I'm using this one inch hinge as a spacer for the next waterfall feature. Okay. It's easier for me to do it upside down. You guys, everybody's got their own methods. So you're going to have four that are a waterfall feature down and then one is going to come from the bottom up to hold everything in place. Okay, and then the last one is going to be installed bottom up. There we go. So four go down, one goes up. And I'm going to draw a little pencil mark here and that will help me place my magnet. So I know my magnet needs to be somewhere between the edge and that line. Try to make sure it's laying flat when I place my magnets. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna find the center line here and here, and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the pocket page. I, th I thought for a second I forgot a magnet, but it's it's in there. So again, a center line, and then we're gonna center this belly band right on the page. <clears throat> so five and a half inches from the edge is the center line of the pocket page.
And now we're going to do the same thing on here. And this is seven inches across, so it's going to be at three and a half. All right. So now we're going to put an insert. I'm going to, for a holding place, put in a uh, eight and a quarter by ten and a quarter, and I might trim it down, but um, it won't be any bigger than that. Eight and a quarter by ten and a quarter, and that is the photo mat that will go inside the belly band. Yay! So, uh, like I said, I don't usually do waterfalls because. I don't know, they're kind of boring, but I thought this might make it a little bit fun with the belly band. So, okay, everybody, um, when we get back together, we'll start decorating. Hey, everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create. And, oh, I meant to ink everything before I sat down. I just noticed I had, um, and we're working on page six, and I'm going to ink as fast as I can. And this is the waterfall page. I like this. I, I'm pretty happy with it. I, I'm not a big waterfall fan. I don't know why. I guess just because they're so predictable. Um, let's get our contrast paper in here. I'm going to use this as the bottom piece. And I'm doing the same thing I did on page three where I have a continuous pattern um, down through the waterfall, which I think turned out nice. I like it. And then we will add some color blocking um, based on what paper is left after we design the rest of the book. We being me. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, now we're going to do the tops. That's good. Again, I didn't ink. I apologize, guys. Hope everybody's having a good day. <clears throat> I've been slow to get this album out. I apologize. Just kind of lost my mojo in terms of creative juices. <clears throat> okay. Now, like I said, the rest of the waterfall features are going to feature these strips, just like I did on page three. And it's going to create this continuous pattern. So I have to lay it out, make sure I've got it in the right order. There we go. That's the right order. Okay, so let's get started. And I'm going to do the same thing where um, there's going to be a border on the left and right edge of the strip, but nothing on the bottom.
Each one of these are one inch. I mentioned that on page three. I forgot to mention it here. <clears throat> so I started with a seven uh, or six and seven eighths by 12 inches of pattern paper. And then I cut um, the first panel uh, to fit on the five inch. And then every inch thereafter, I cut a one inch strip um, for these uh, pop-ups, which is three. And then whatever's what's left over should be a three inch panel. So hopefully that made sense. And I'll, I'll walk you through that one more time. I just want to make sure I've got, I'm still doing these in order so that the pattern is continuous. So keep checking. And then also I'm looking for this even border from one waterfall to the next. Okay, and then the last one is gonna go in on the bottom, which is not a flap, it's just part of the, this is actually part of the um, belly band. And then the last flap is right here. <clears throat> so four flaps down, one flap up. <clears throat> now this I am going to have a little border on the bottom as well as the side because there's a hinge here and I don't want the paper to get stuck in the hinge. Now here's the three inch strip that was left out after I did five, six, seven, eight, nine, and this would be 10, 11, 12. So here's the bottom of the 12 inch paper. And it's gonna go on the inside of the lower flap. Like so. And again, um, there'll be a black gap because um, of the hinge. So we have this nice, beautiful, continuous 12 inch pattern, seven inches by 12 inches. And then we're gonna use this contrast strip on the very bottom. And it's roughly two inches and it needs to be trimmed to fit. Once you place this piece, you'll need to um, mark it and trim it. Let's see how we did. Oh, maybe a little more. See where I tore the paper and torqued a little. There we go. That looks good. I got a little bit of white showing here. I'm going to trim that off by hand. Every once in a while, when I'm trimming off a really small bit um, in the trimmer, it wants to fold the paper down instead of cut through it. And then I just come back with my scissors and trim it by hand. Okay. Now pay attention, this pattern has a face in it. Make sure you've got it right side up. Oops, got a little extra glue there. Okay, I think that looks beautiful. This is gonna close like that. Okay, we're gonna take the insert out for now. And then, um, as I showed you on page three, I did the same thing here, where I took two two and a half inch strips, 
and I taped them to the six inch panel in between. So the black piece is six, <clears throat> six inches by eight and seven eighths. And then these are two and a half by eight and seven eighths. And then I taped them together. But what I would really recommend is doing a six inch strip and then two two and a half inch strips and then just trim the whole thing at, in the trimmer at seven and seven eighths. I'm sorry, eight and seven eighths. This is a nine by 11 album. I keep forgetting that. <clears throat> so that way you get a nice clean edge. And I just used scotch tape to hold this together. I wanted something thin um, so that it would slide in easily when I'm trying to adhere it to the uh, album. And I'm gonna go ahead and open it because I found that when, I, when it was open, it was easier to slide it through. Um, when it's closed with the magnet, it was um, it was a little bit more challenging to get it to go all the way through. There we go. And then once we get it fed through and lined up, we can close everything. <clears throat> all right. So it looks like I'd already inked it, and I have. So now I'm just going to peel it back. It looks like it's pretty much ready to go. So I'm going to peel it up and then we're going to add glue and lay it down. Um, I would not recommend running glue across the whole back and trying to run it underneath the um, belly band. It's seven inches wide. It's going to get hung up. So I would not recommend that. Okay. That is in and good. Now that's already pretty well seated. <clears throat> and now we just have to peel this up and do the same thing. And I'm not putting it on the black because um, I don't want to have glue uh, coming out the edges, so put it on a designer paper. It's a little more difficult, but then you don't have to worry about the glue squeezing out. Whoops, it did anyway. Okay, now because we put that six inch panel between these two and they're all on the same level, that means putting in our insert is it should, it should smoothly go from one side to the other, and it does. If I had just tucked in these two pieces of designer cardstock and was trying to go across, it would get hung up on that different level on one side. So that's why I did it this way, just so you understand. And when you're designing your own albums, if you've got something that's sliding back and forth um, and it's going to run into the edge, then I would recommend this. Now, a lot of times on my pockets, I only go a quarter inch in, but um, it's not like I'm coming from the other side. You're always going down um, across the seam and not against the seam. Okay, so that is it for page six. When we come back together, we will work on the B-sides and then we'll also do some decorating of the insert here. Okay, thanks everybody. Bye. Hey guys, so we are wrapping up page six and this is the insert um, that's gonna go behind the waterfall feature. So let's get this done. I think I've got it, at least the strips are inked. And then as usual, I'll lay these down and then uh, come back and trim this piece to fit. might need to turn yeah just a little bit off, off the edge a 
there we go. So we'll ink this and get it in. Okay, let's pull in page six. And then this is, um, again, the waterfall feature. And this is gonna slide right behind it, like so. Yes, I like it, I like it. Okay. All right, that's it for now. Be back in a minute.